Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Big update on the Tacoma, Washington video I put up a few days ago involving the object in broad daylight that was viewed from multiple people on the ground. Well, I've got a close-up view of what those people were looking at. And the photos you're about to see are quite fascinating. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. But first, I wanted to touch base on the, the weather incident that took place yesterday, especially in Mississippi and Alabama, where they saw a tornado outbreak. There's no Never a good time for a tornado outbreak, especially after dark. And as you can see on the map over here, there were multiple tornadoes that went through Mississippi and parts of northern Alabama. One of the tornadoes was a very large tornado in western Mississippi. It went right through the community of Rolling Fork and did a lot of damage. I don't have any photos or anything like that, but as you can see at one time, there were multiple power outages through Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. Here's a close-up of the counties in Mississippi. The, the dark burgundy represents 100% power outages, and that's the path of the tornado or tornadoes that went through Mississippi. Currently, in the same area, there are multiple power outages from the strong storm that went through Louisiana up into Mississippi, and it's now making its way through the northeastern part of the United States and most of the rain component has left the area. You can see the, the movement from left to right, west to east. That is symbolic of strong winds moving through the Ohio area and it's showing up on the map over here in the form of power outages. 387,000 customers currently without electricity in Ohio and those are independent customers, not people. That's more than likely affecting over a million people. 80,000 in Michigan without power, 71,000 in Pennsylvania, 68,000 in West Virginia. Coming over here to hailreports.com and you can see all of the, the high wind reports in the Ohio area. Once again, the, the rain has moved out there dealing with very high winds. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Javier H. out of Silmar, California. This is an unedited photo exactly the way I received it. Isn't that cool? He was up close with a rainbow, probably within a couple hundred yards of his location. Excellent photo by Javier out of California. Checking in on the Schumann residents. All in all, pretty quiet. A little bit of activity here in the last 12 hours, but, but not too much going on. All the action right now is involving high winds and power outages extending from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up to the upper peninsula of Michigan. And here's what's left of the big scorpion in the sky as it's moving out of the United States into the North Atlantic Ocean. Okay, here we go. Up to Tacoma, Washington. I received some photos by Bradley that were taken from Dan's phone, and I think Dan was one of the men standing here looking up at this object in the, the daytime sky. You can see this gentleman here pointing up at something. It's hard to see in this video. This is like a security camera video that's attached to the side of this building here. I believe the, the photos that we're about to see are from another gentleman that comes outside and joins these two guys here that are looking at something in the sky. And it must have been something unusual because it's raining. They get out their phones. They start recording and taking pictures. I think this might be Dan here because you're going to see in these photos this building right here in the foreground of this object as it's low on the horizon over here getting ready to dip down into these trees. This gentleman here is recording. I don't know if he's taking a video or photos. And then there's another gentleman here that starts to record here in just a moment. Either way, the photos were sent in by Bradley. Take by Dan. You're going to see this object come into the field of view here in case you missed the video. Notice the object up here. Enter the field of view from left to right and it's slowly declining going down and it actually lands over here in these trees in a forest. Highly unusual looking object. It's not a balloon. It's not a, a drone. I don't believe it's a drone. It looks vertical and it looks to be somewhere in the neighborhood of four to, to possibly six feet tall. Um, doesn't appear to be any type of an airplane or a helicopter obviously. It's, it's dark black from this point of view. I'm going to step it forward a little bit and show you guys the, the photos that were taken and sent in by Bradley, taken by Dan. And here we go. You're going to see that building that I just showed you guys. You're going to see the, the roof line of that building in these photos right there. See the roof line of the building right there? And there's that vent on top of the building. Here's another vent. There's the object. What an incredible photo. What is that thing? 
Obviously not a balloon. This looks like some sort of an object that's of intelligent design for sure. See how it's difficult to tell in the video. It was just too far away and it was too heavily pixelated. We're going to zoom in. He sent in three really good photos of this object that, that turned out super good, but it doesn't necessarily help in identifying what we're looking at here. See the building here? That's the building that I showed you guys. We'll come back to this mark. This is the 347 mark. I want to take you guys back to the beginning of the video. Notice the vents right there on top of the building well here's the the building right here we're gonna go back up to the 347 there's the building see the building right there so it was one of those gentlemen taking this picture right here of that object as it's landing in the forest way over there probably a good mile away I, I would assume maybe a little farther uh, it's difficult to tell it was a rainy day a heavy cloud cover. This object was below the clouds. I don't know if it came down from above the clouds. And this is the original video as it got lower and lower towards the, the ground and the trees. And as you can see, it's heavily pixelated. Excellent video, but the pictures turned out much better. Here's another picture. This is a close-up view of the object. What is that thing? Does appear to be kind of tall, maybe in the five, six foot range. Not shaped like a balloon, doesn't have any flashing lights. It almost has like a, a humanoid feature to it. You can see like legs and possibly arms and a torso. Again, it's difficult to tell. It does definitely look like it's of intelligent origins for sure. I mean, it has symmetrical features on it. Doesn't look random, you know, like it's some sort of a stray cloud or smoke or anything like that. That is some sort of a object that is falling through the sky. Here's another photo. This is a different photo of the same object. And as you can clearly see, this is highly unusual. I don't know what that thing is, but it's more vertical than it is horizontal. And it's a little taller. Um, and it is wide. I don't know what that thing is, but this is the third photo that was sent in by Bradley, taken by Dan, and I believe Dan's one of the guys that was standing on the ground filming this thing. Again, it was raining, so if this were some sort of, of, of a drone or some sort of a, a new flying machine that somebody's standing on, I, I don't necessarily see a person here. It's kind of shaped like a, a person, maybe. I, I don't know. You can't really tell. It's still quite a ways away, but that's an excellent picture. It's not too super pixelated, and you can kind of make out features on this thing. That's where I come up with the symmetrical. Up here on the top, those two things are symmetrical with one another. They look to be about the same size, and then there's a straight line in between, whatever those two things are at the top. And then this stuff down here is kind of random. If that is somebody in some sort of a weird suit, it looks like they may be standing on something. Um, I don't know. I had a, had a viewer send something in that was similar to this right here, like it was some sort of a, a futuristic flying machine, possibly, that, that somebody could have been experimenting with. But the only thing with that is, obviously, it's too far away to tell. The photo here definitely helps compared to the video. It's a lot clearer, and you can tell there's something vertical moving through the sky over there. Um, was it somebody standing on some sort of, of a jetpack? I don't know. It's, it's, again, too far away to tell. And it's raining, too. If they were experimenting with something like that, why would they do it in the rain? And why would it be descending from up in the clouds? Usually things like that would originate from the ground and go up and then back down. Not necessarily cruise through the sky descending down from the clouds and this thing looked to be coming down from somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 1500 to a thousand feet so if it was one of those type of jetpacks I don't think you would want to go up that high with one of those things I don't know I don't know that much about them but here are two of the photos that Bradley sent in that were taken by Dan side by side this is a different one here it's the same object just a different photo I was able to zoom in really tight over here on the the photo on the left and it didn't become too overly pixelated. I took the same photos and did a little bit of enhancement work. Light is dark, dark is light. Trying to pull forward anything unique that we couldn't see in the original photo and nothing really changed with the exception of the, the brightness as, as you can see in these photos. So I couldn't pull forward anything else other than what we see. And it does kind of look like there might be something down here, but again, it, it's too hard to tell. This thing was solid black moving through the daytime sky. This is another one of the photos that was sent in by Bradley. 
taken by Dan. It's just a, another phase of this thing coming down through the sky. It was kind of turning a little bit. It almost looked like at times it may have been tumbling. It was at least rotating around side to side from time to time. You could tell that in the video. And these photos came out excellent considering how far away this thing was. So big update on the object that was spotted in broad daylight above Tacoma, Washington, cruising through the sky in the rain all along the skyline up here and ultimately landing over here in the trees and those photos i believe are from one of these gentlemen right there great job guys really appreciate the updated photos and i appreciate the link here to the the future of flying and it could have been something like that i don't know it was too far away to tell Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for the red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Simply click on the red banner, drag and drop your video into the red tab. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.